Hello, Darren Chang again here to review another messenger bag. And this messenger bag is called the Patagonia Transport 26 liter bag. And you'll see it's um, quite a bit different in terms of its design. It doesn't have the flap that most messenger bags have. And obviously that flap isn't just a, um, a decorative thing. It's actually there functionally to give the bag a little bit more weatherproofing when you can cover up all the zippers and such with the flap. Um, so clearly this is one thing that this bag is not going to offer in terms of um, protecting it uh, and the contents of the bag from, from the elements. Um, but when you don't have a flap, it also makes it a lot easier for you to get access to all the items in the bag that you need to have access to. So, you know, there's, you, you get and you also give there in that regard. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the bag and what it has to offer. And um, you can see that it's got sort of a nice clean look to it. Um, I would dare say that it has sort of a more professional look to it than many messenger bags out there, which have a more sporty look to them. This uh, first zipper reveals a large pocket, and it's not a pocket that's divided in any sort of way. One thing that you will see is that it's got a nice bright orange lining to it. So throughout the bag, this bright orange lining, at least on this uh, uh, blue color that I have here, really allows you to see into the bag and into the deep, dark corners of the bag without any problem. Okay, so we have this large outer compartment, and you can see the extent is the stitching that goes all the way around this pocket right here. Just uh, inside of that pocket, we have the organizer panel here. And there's nothing on the front of the order, no uh, slot or anything on the front of the organizer panel, but it does have an area, since it doesn't unzip all the way, it does have an area where you can just sort of throw things without having to organize them, just toss them in there. Um, but you'll also see that it's divided nicely. We have a couple of mesh pockets here. Um, behind these, you have pockets that drop all the way down to the bottom of the bag. This one also drops all the way down to the bottom of the bag. You have another pocket here on the side which is held in with Velcro, and that drops all the way to the bottom as well. Just inside, you can see here, there's a pocket for a cell phone, although I will tell you that it's the, the so I have an iPhone 5S here. It'll fit a 5S without a problem. It seems to be perfectly designed for that. Um, however, it will, won't fit anything larger than a 5S, so forget putting a 6 in there. I will say that it would be nice if this was perhaps set more towards the middle of the bag. In fact, if this whole panel was set in the middle and swapped places with this mesh, because it gets a little tight here. You're sort of having a battle with the outer edge of the pocket as you're inserting the phone in. So that can be kind of a headache to deal with there. So the design is a little bit odd there. Um, there are three slots here for pens or uh, stylus, and then there's another slot here which doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. Uh, perhaps I could imagine putting my wallet in there, um, any number of things. So a nice array of pockets here in this organizer panel. Um, the arrangement of it perhaps is not the best, but you certainly have a lot of options where you can put all your stuff. Okay, so that's the organizer panel. And, and notice, too, that because there's no flap, you can get access to the organizer panel in a jiffy, right? You can go right to it. The main compartment of the bag, now this is a, an interesting thing. You'll notice that the zippers go all the way down to the very bottom and, in fact, go into the bottom of the bag there, which allows you to open up the main compartment kind of like a suitcase. Um, so that's either you know, good or bad, depending on, on whether or not you think that adds some security issues. It certainly would add some issues with weatherproofing, once again, if you put this down on top of a puddle, the zipper down here is going to allow for the for water to get in. Um, so the great thing about this, though, is it does make it a lot easier to pack if, say, you're packing in clothing or something or trying to get access to something. Um, for me, as you probably know, having viewed these uh, many of these reviews, this main compartment is going to be the place where I keep my camera bag. So I have my camera in its little padded compartment here. And this is going to slip right in here, and it does so without a problem. In fact, maybe you can see in here, there's even room, a lot of room right here. And I could put, say, my cordless headphones right into that slot as well. In general, there's a lot of room in this bag, um, which is kind of handy because you don't have to worry about trying to squeeze things in here. They'll fit in without a problem. 
You'll also see, let me unzip this again all the way so you can see what we have to offer here, that on this front panel, so this is the front of the bag, so just inside the front wall, we have a pocket that is Velcro closed, and you can put file folders into this pretty easily. Keeps them nice and flat. Oh, one thing I do want to mention here, which is a huge bonus, is that there's a foam pad that's uh, keeping this somewhat rigid. And so that's obviously going to protect any of the file folders that you have in here that, um, from bending and, or getting um, creased by any items that you might have on the outside of the bag. So that's a nice touch to have it have some structure as well. Um, the rest of it is just a wide open spot. There's no separate pockets or anything in here. Okay, so let me go ahead and zip up this main compartment and move us to the top of the bag here. You'll see that it's got a pretty decent uh, handle here to be able to grab and go. It's not the cushiest, um, but it's also not the worst of the handles. It's got some three-dimensionality, which allows you to hold it and not get your hand fatigued. You know, you could hold this for a good 10-minute walk without you feeling like it's digging into your hands. Um, uh, and it's central to the bag in terms of the width of the bag. So it's not going to make your bag swing into your, the, the edge of your, your knee or something like that or swing out because it's right there central to the, the midline of the bag. All right, so let's take a look now at the laptop compartment. Now this compartment also opens up all the way and this is great for when you're going through the airport and have to do the TSA check because you can keep your computer in here and put this thing through the x-ray machine without having to remove the computer and put it into a separate bin. So that's a nice feature. And because of that, there is a, a little buckle here that keeps your computer hanging out in there. So if I take my MacBook Pro, this is a 15-inch MacBook Pro, fits in there without a problem, clip it, won't slide out now as a result when it's going through the x-ray machines. So that's pretty nice. And then on this panel, this is something that I thought was especially nice. We have a slot here, it's a padded slot once again. There's padding to, to go into the other compartment as well, but this is its own little padded pocket. And into this, I can put my iPad. I happen to have a mini here, but a full-size iPad will fit in there, no problem. The only thing I would say that's too bad is that there's not a buckle or a flap to close this area, because again, if you're putting this on the x-ray machine, there's some chance that the iPad will slide out in sort of the jostling of moving this thing around. So it's too bad that this didn't have some way to, to contain whatever tablet you'd have in there. But you can see too that there are some nice pockets here. You could put in a hard drive, you can put in some charging cables, any number of things. Really nice to have this compartment back here. And then not to mention the fact that you know, if you, you can put more file folders in here, just sort of tossing them in, because this whole compartment is separate, right? So it forms its own sort of own pocket in here, just where I could just slide in file folders. And certainly would keep them flat because the computer itself is going to keep them stiff and flat as well. Um, so a nice, a really nice uh, computer compartment, I would say, that we have going here. Uh, before I go too far, I should tell you that I'm a little disappointed with the zippers. Uh, they're, they're not the heaviest duty zippers. I mean, they're certainly the, the kind of zippers that you'd see in Patagonia garments, and they don't fail very often. But then again, you're not sort of putting the stress on a, um, on a garment as you would sort of opening and closing these with weight associated with each one of these, um, these panels or compartments. So I do worry a little bit that these aren't the strongest and most stout of zippers. I, I wish they had gone up a notch in terms of the, the quality of the zippers, but um, maybe they know something I don't know. Maybe these are going to last longer than I would expect, but there are other bags that have stronger zippers, or at least they're bigger, thicker zippers than the ones that I see here on the Patagonia bag. All right, so lastly, let's take a look at the back panel here. You'll see that we have a nice little pocket here. Unfortunately, it's a pretty small pocket. There's no chance that you're going to be able to fit a file folder into this. Um, you could put your mail in here, you can put a boarding pass, whatever you want, um, but it's not a full size, and that's too bad. I really think they could have designed this in such a way that you could still accommodate file folders and do what I think you could imagine this is used for, which is that you can unzip the bottom of this pouch and slide this over the handle of your, um, your luggage, your, your wheeled luggage. Um, so uh, it's, it's great that they do have that option, I just wish they'd, they'd maybe opened up the slot a little bit more to accommodate a larger set of files.
Nothing on the sides here, it's pretty clean. No places for, unfortunately, from my perspective, no place for a, a pocket to put a water bottle. You couldn't do that, obviously, and have this thing open like a book the way it does. So, you know, again, it, it's a, there's a trade-off going on there. The, um, the shoulder strap itself is okay. It's not as good as um, the shoulder strap that's on the, the half mass, the Patagonia half mass messenger bag. Um, it's about half the size and half the cushiness. In fact, the shoulder strap uh, is relative to the half mass. Um, but it's okay. I mean, it, it serves its purpose. I wouldn't say it's the greatest. And um, it's nice to have the ability to completely detach this shoulder strap if you wanted to. Uh, maybe if you're cruising through the airport and you don't want to have this grab onto something, you can remove it and stuff it somewhere in the bag. So that's nice, having it easily removable the way it is. Um, so that's about it. There's no lashing points or anything. I, I was desperate to find something that I could attach my keychain to because I have the my ID, which allows me to get inside of buildings, is attached to this, so I needed to have you know easy access. The only place I could imagine attaching it was to this D-ring that holds onto the shoulder strap. I think that makes it a little bit of a kludgy solution there because obviously now you're fighting the shoulder strap and the key are sort of fighting for position here. It would have been nice if there was some sort of little maybe loop to which I could attach this keychain on the outside and maybe even a little loop here, maybe if, uh, if I want to attach a blinky light for cycling with this bag. Um, but clearly this bag is made much more for the uh, professional who's a uh, casual professional obviously who's moving around in an airport and uh, rather than using it as a full messenger bag on a bicycle. Okay, um, I hope you found this useful. And don't forget to keep looking at all my reviews before you buy. Take care.